Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosion. Which I'm the man on this. You have a stick in your hand. And we're playing at 20. Yeah. Twisted. Twisted steel, leather donuts. Twisted steel. Da, da, da. Leather donuts. Da, da, da. You know any German? Uh, nine. Yeah, that's one. That's that's, that's uh, that was that's, a lie and uh, that's that's one word. See what I did there? Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I get uh, it. Uh, as always, we're playing offense only. We're simming his D. We're using a playbook, and he's playing on pro because he. Oh my God! You still lose on pro, dude. Yeah, he did lose on pro twice. Uh, do you know any other languages? German. Uh, I know some Spanish. Very not even. I know. The, I know most in Spanish, but I, I'm not even conversational. Um, and I maybe know a couple words, like, yeah, but nothing. Uh, how about Japanese? Mushi Mushi. Like, uh, a couple vocabulary, if anything. I mean, because in, fr in French, I know, like, ciao and bonjour. But, like, I wouldn't say I know French. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I wouldn't in English, and I barely speak that. Yeah, right? That's weird. Uh, You're a word nerd, we know that. I know, but then I get... Oh! Oh! He's, <laughs> he's still going, He dude. didn't even know he was going to be there to catch that when he threw it. <laughs> dude, I was like, who the hell is he throwing oh, something out? It's me! He just put it in the stands, dude. Dude, he just, like, he popped out. In, uh, no, but, like, some people, they, like, really attack, and other people, they don't really bother too much. So, like, do you get lots of mosquito bites if mosquitoes are around? Uh, if I'm, like, outside, yeah, but I don't go out a lot. Well, like, for example, my mom or what? Two different things. One, she gets bit way more than anyone else that's around. Like, if we'll be out by the pool, the mosquitoes mm. are, like, drawn to her. Also... When they draw blood out of her, the the little up, how would this team, the bite swell like the size of like a dime, oh. and then and then it's red like a core fifty cent piece around that. Oh, that gets big. Yeah, like it's like it's a uh, it's like she has some sort of like allergic reaction or something. So I don't know if it draws them to her because they smell it. I wonder if like uh, I don't really know what they're what they're drawn to. Oh, this was bad. This was not a good one. Yeah, that mosquitoes are drawn to. Sweat. Okay. And I'm drawn to like well, a certain color. Right yeah, I don't know. I know uh, when I used to wear my Charlotte Hornets jacket, I used to think bees were chasing me. <laughs> you mean girls? <laughs> Is that the kind of bees? Or are we talking about female dogs? <laughs> Get it? Or just bees as in honey? Ooh, we need honey. Wow, there could be so many different ways to say. It. Ooh, he's so um, we don't really have that same like mosquito problem that they had up north down here. Though. Yeah, well, cause it's not wet, so they can't like be breeding and everything constantly. Oh, you're like your own boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what's funny? People come here and they're not. Oh, here, dude. Yeah. Like, before you. Meet uh, it was like a sweet, like it Ohio every day a little bit, yeah. it sprinkled a little bit every day, and it got really wet. And there was a F load of mosquitoes that in like June and July that year, like and all through May, because in June it got hot and then they it dries up all the eggs. Oh, that's true. I didn't even about that because stagnant water stuff. Right? And, yeah, and like moisture and yeah, bodies of water in the woods and shaded areas, but like in general, it's so effing hot here. I wonder if the desert, like New Mexico or Arizona, has like mosquitoes really at all. Hmm. I don't know, Jonas. I've never been. Uh, those areas, so maybe I should ask them if they have mosquitoes. I'm I mean, I'm sure they do some. But yeah, they gotta have some. Mosquitoes are like cockroaches everywhere. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I don't know. I know they got scorpions out here. Have you yeah. seen? Have you seen any something? I have not. I mean, I have not seen a. Uh, uh, what do they call the ones that are in natural habitat? I can't think of the word. What's the word about like something about in the wild? Yeah, I, yeah. I, guess I haven't seen one out in the wild. No. Uh, <laughs> the <pharma> comps. <laughs> in the wilds of our. Of our gated community. Our gated community. <laughs> I have seen lizards, oh, dude, but like I love, I love those little lizards, dude. Yeah, they are not nearly as prevalent as they were in uh I know it makes me want to live in Florida for half a no, second. I realize I hate it. You don't want to see them. Yo, I when love one of them, those lizards. Nah, dude. dude. When one of them gets in your house, dude, start like nibbling at your ear when you're in bed. They're not doing that. They're so they weird. might though. You don't no, know. They don't. They're afraid of people. It's even funny. Dude, they're gonna impregnate you or yeah, something. Yeah, they're gonna crawl into your urethra. Your urethra. 
Wait, what? That's how it happens. <laughs> doesn't doesn't the egg get lodged on the inside of your urethra and then it just sticks there and then uh? Yeah, it's like a tubal pregnancy, but in your urethra. Yeah, and then you have a lizard man. To be gross out of your urethra. Guess what? Your reader. <laughs> yeah, and then the doctor does a C-section. <laughs> oh my god, that just sucks. Yeah, it reminds me of uh that chick who was talking about splits, Jonas. Oh, Split yeah, me old defense. Yeah, nah, dude. I'm good on you don't want to talk about that. split and defense. You don't want to talk about that. Nah, dude. I didn't even see. And I didn't. You didn't want to see and you they didn't. They just warned you. Fuck it up. Yeah, yeah, basically. Uh, I'm going to punt it. Apparently, I suck. Yeah, I mean, you're up by 14, so you're all right. Yeah, dude. I don't know about all that. That seems, uh, seems a lot of work. Like, what? I mean, like, because once you do that, you can't go back. Oh, like splitting splitting her down the center there? Yeah, like, I mean, you'll shot. What if they bot? I mean, it's botched regardless, right? It, it's, it's just like the body modifications that are out there. Like, I've seen people who split their tongues. Yeah. You've never had gauges because your ears are I mean, normal. my ears are technically gauged now. Are they? They're 14. Oh, is that like the smallest? It's like uh, what like a tongue ring would be. Really? Yeah. I've never looked in your ears. Well, there you don't really notice because they're not. It's not very thick. I just did it because when I had um, when I had regular piercings, it's earrings all the time fall while I sleep, and these are just a solid <laughs> piece of steel, so it, it's, it's easier. It's, 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 really? No one can tell. I mean, it was definitely. But no, the, I have not engaged. It was definitely the in thing to do in, in, in that time period. Oh yeah, like I didn't ever reach my ears out to like rows or anything like that. Yeah, right. You can. You, like if you go ridiculously big, it's hard. But if you like, like even like a zero, it just like the tip. Of it. So I mean, like eventually it comes together. And I would take him up to like an eight, which is like the size of a uh, the inside tube in a pen. No, why? But um. What does that do for well, you? Well, does it give north, you more sexual pleasure? I don't think so. But up north, when you had big gauges like that in the winter, like it, it would give you frostbite in your ears because the metal would get so cold. But uh, I mean, not me because I have just regular earrings. But yeah, no, I'm good. Right, I'm gonna throw up. I don't get it. No. Oh wait, was that the end of the half gauge boy? I should have called it. Oh, well, no, dude. I'm yeah, I've never been. I've never been a gauger. I mean. A little bit. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm a teener. I did that. I've had my ears gauged. I've never had my nose pierced. 15 years. I never wanted to get, like, uh, how do they put, like, those little nodules under your skin so it looks like you have horns? Yeah. No, I'm good on that. I, know, I don't have a tongue piercing. I, I did for a long time. I had mine for 20 years and I took it out. Your tongue's not pierced anymore? I have not had it in for about eight months. Oh, look at you. Yeah. I was going to say, I could have swore you had the old, uh, the old, the old, the old you know? tongue pierce, yes. The old, for the old, many, many years. I had it pierced for a very long time. The old who, oh, <laughs> almost who ha dinged on it. Yeah, man, I took it out. Um, oh, all right. Time, man. Good decision, man. 40 year old, 40 years old. <laughs> I'm not 40, so F you. <laughs> <laughs> Get the F out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> at 47, you probably At 48 and a half. Oh, <laughs> I can barely get my oval team down you, in the morning. Could you imagine I got to get my dentures? And yeah. just get... While I'm eating grape nuts and drinking Diet right soda. <laughs> and you got a tongue ring in your mouth at 80. Dude, I was like, man, I should keep this tongue in. In the home, in the nursing home? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. All I ain't of, making it there. I'll die before that. All the old ladies, man, they'd be all over that. Just know what to do. Yeah, Jonas let me ride his tongue with the <laughs> bingo. What? <laughs> Nasty, we couldn't come to terms. Anyway, so. You need to come to terms with your granny fetish now, Jonas. <laughs> Why is this an eel thing, Jonas? It, Why is it an eel thing? Why? Yeah, I don't understand what's it's eel not my about jam, this. Dude. What do you mean it's not your jam? Uh, you I don't, don't know like, what else I can mean by that. You're, you don't like aging? <laughs> is that what it is? Aging is gross. Do I get this added on to the end of the play? Yeah, for sure. Okay, because I was going to say if I had to choose either one. So, okay, let me ask you. Do you prefer older women or younger women or women your age? Are you trying to ask me if I have a granny fetish? <laughs> no, not at all. I would have just asked you that directly. You'll be passive communication right there. That's what it is. What, what age women do you like? Are you trying to say I like old women? Yeah, no, that's what that's not, I feel that's like it, you're dude. asking but me if I like grannies. Do you prefer younger women or older women or the same age women? 
Um, I guess I like older women because uh, they're more mature. Okay. And I don't know. Honestly, at the age I am now, I should just handle my age. I don't really like young girls because they're just like, we don't have anything to talk about. And Well, it's like, it's funny, like... When you're like, say you're like, say you're like 25, and you're like dating like a 20 something, like that's yeah. a big age gap for then. But you, but you can have a lot in common. Both don't have anything going on in life. When you're 25, you still don't have a lot going on in life. But like when you're in your 30s and you're like grown and educated and like have a job, and then you're with someone who's like 27 and they don't have exactly. It, it, like it's such a bigger difference than it is when you're younger. Exactly. Yeah, it yeah, really so. is, and I didn't realize that until, like, I I've, I've dated women younger than me, and I I married a woman older than me, and like I I don't know, it's just yeah, I've I've had both sides of the gambit. That shows and, you right there that you like older women. But I think I like younger women. Wait, <laughs> wait. If my if my cho if I but you choose, can't. What do you even talk to them broads about? But not like that much younger. Like just like I think I just like younger women in general. You know why I think I like younger women? It's because you're a, a nasty old man. Because yes. <laughs> because I am young at heart. And like being around someone who's younger, younger has a different mentality, and it helps keep me like. Some might refer to that as immature. <laughs> but it's not. Oh, look at that one. Block that man. I'm immature. I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's that I like, you know what I mean, dude? I don't have an old guy mentality. Like, I have so many friends I talk to, and they're like, oh, man, I'm so old. I don't know how you can oh, play volleyball. I'm yeah. old. And I'm like, yeah. you're not that effing old, dude. Go out there and play volleyball. Go do something, man. And, and that goes along with a lot of these guys who have kids at, at a certain age. Yeah. You're forced to grow up a little bit fast. <laughs> you're forced to grow up a little bit faster when that happens. Right. Yeah, absolutely. But... Oh my God! Like, it doesn't mean you just sit on the damn couch from After the time you're 30 until you die. <laughs> they just give up, man. They're like, I got a wife, I got kids, I'm done. I am never giving up. Dude. Never, never. Yeah, dude. Well, you don't know, kids or wife, right? Perfect. <laughs> so now you can afford to be as any way you want to be, man, because you don't have to please anybody. <laughs> I know, dude. No. And I'm grown, and I have. Oh, dude, it's like pythicized, dude. I was like, feels a ruining a relationship. Yeah, right. <laughs> ruining marriage. Yeah, but uh, it's great because like now I'm like it's at a point great. where I'm like, I have a decent job. I don't have a lot of responsibilities. I'm like able to do what I want. I've got my life in order for the most part, and boom, living life, dude. You know those guys watched him all. Pretty nice. It is pretty nice, guys. I've been there for a while, man, and I tell you right now, it's 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 lovely to have something to nurture a child and to do all of those things. And I never put anybody down for doing them, but uh, for everybody. Yeah, man, I had my opportunity when I was married. I had stepkids. I love those kids. They're great. Still hang out with them sometimes now, even though we have no like legal relation. It ain't like for everybody. Yeah, man, but like. It was great, and, but they're grown now too, so it's like we can just hang out, BS, and go to eat dinner. Grown ish. I mean, they're over eight. Well, both of them are almost over eighteen. Both of them, like, wouldn't trade that experience for the world. I thought those kids were awesome. Like, I have a great relationship with them. But like, do I want to have a baby at my age? Do I want to have a baby? Don't you ever say that in my presence. Do I want to have a baby? <laughs> <laughs> you realize how ridiculous that sounded? Do I want to have a baby? Right? Jesus exactly. Christ, man. Right. 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 You know what I mean? Like, who? Do I want to have a baby? You don't? 
it sounds and the fact that it elicits that response, you know, is, is, is exactly how ridiculous it sounds. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, well guess what, fam? You keep messing around with these young girls and uh you're gonna end up getting one of them knocked up. I've I've spent be, my whole life not knocking up girls. I think I can do it. You're gonna be Hugh Hefner with the spin move. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have tr- I have prided myself in not having babies. Well, not being huge. I, not, I mean, I would be all right with that, but not having babies. Dude. I'm good at not having babies. <laughs> good all my other that. not good at not having yeah, babies. Yeah, man, they suck. At it, dude. Yeah, dude. They're all Look at not having babies. Yeah, dude. We knew a lot of people who suck. <laughs> it's babies. not that hard, right? No, it's not, dude. There's two really big ways: kids. pull out and don't have sex. <laughs> three ways, kids. <laughs> There's three easy ways to not have a baby. Three easy steps, kids. Here they come. Do not. Okay. Care right. condoms. Wouldn't have said it quite like don't finish sight of her. Jesus. <laughs> You crass, <laughs> you crass bastard. What the hell does that mean? Don't finish and fight her? Like, what, did I win a race? <laughs> like, what are you talking about shooting the ropes? <laughs> Am I Shoot, shooting up the club? What did you say? Shooting the ropes? Just shooting up or shoot, shoot her club up? <laughs> that is more crass than ropes. Finish and I don't know, Joe. Finish and cider is pretty you bad. Think, put in the comments, what is more crass? Don't finish inside her or shoot her club up. You tell me what's more crass. I don't know. Maybe because I've heard shoot her club up for so long that I'm just used to it. You're <laughs> just sensitized to it. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. You watch like, a lot of action movies and you're like, oh, people dying. I get it. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. It's, uh, yeah, I get, I get. What just happened? I don't know, dude. They got really pissed and they just attacked. Yeah, dude, but Call yeah, those are three tournament. easy ways to not have a baby. Nice. Yeah. That, was, that, that is how you do it, though. Yeah, dude, I've been great at it. Or, yeah, or you can just be an incel. Not all of them are the same, though. Get it twist. No, they're three very different. Yeah, they, they, they. <laughs> They all have different levels of degrees of difficulty. And discipline. And, yeah. Discipline is very big on some of those. Oh, my God. Especially the not finish. Finish Finish <laughs> I love saying things the most awkward way possible. (laughs) All right, everybody. That is all the time that we have for today's episode of Family Planning. Please make sure to like and subscribe. 321 yards. Look at you, Rushmaster. I did it. Uh, If you've already liked and subscribed, we appreciate it. And please share with a friend who just stood there like, eh? (laughs) <laughs> hey, did I do it? Uh, but for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we are very solid. Six and two.